Hi guys, it's Rob here. Um, today I'm going to talk through kind of like a, a guide to live blocks, just showing you the controls and what all the menus do and the buttons do. Okay, so um, first thing here is this sidebar. So uh, we'll just focus on this now, which is just a, a tree which selects uh, different blocks. So for example, I could go in here and I want video input, camera, select the camera. Okay, and then you can just click here and then drag. There we go. Then, um, if I wanted to pick another block, just, I don't know, uh, ripple, I can then select and drag and drop, same as before. Alternatively, you can uh, you can uh, select like that and then double click, and you can then put as many as you want. This button here deletes the block. So just delete that and keep one for now. Okay, so then we've just got the ripple block. So then you've got the block uh, with a preview here. Uh, you can enable it or disable it. Um, and then you can change the controls. So, for instance, let's say I want to uh, change the frequency or change the rate at which it moves. You can just change them as they are. Um, I can, I'm just going to put this on water for now and then you can also sometimes click on the previews and that will allow you to select in a certain place um, and also uh, these type of controls here um, by the way I'm in, moving by uh, clicking the left mouse button here on any like uh, clean part of the area and I'm using the mouse wheel to zoom in and out um, you can also use these buttons up here to zoom in and out and this zooms to fit um, so yeah so what was, where was it yeah so um, you can also these type of controls here where it's just a number like that um, you can actually just move it up and down like that and that will change the number um, and anything like these ones as well you can also uh, you can also uh, click on the label and that will turn it from a uh, slider into a, a kind of like the unlimited selector thing. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the basics of uh, blocks. You click on a block um, and move them. You just have to click somewhere where there isn't something already. So if I click there, that will change the text. Um, but we just want to be able to move it like that. Um, to disconnect, you right click so there, I'm just right clicking on that and it disconnects it. Um, you can also uh, connect multiple blocks up like that um, and then it will just feed video into both of them. Okay. So, um, all right, so that's the kind of the main layout um, and then how to select blocks in this, uh, this view here. Uh, if you wanted to be able to search for blocks, you can then click here. Um, and what that does is it allows so currently all the blocks are loaded up here with their description um, and then when you hover over it shows you uh, um, what the what the block is um, its name what group it's in what inputs and outputs it has and also what parameters there are and what the defaults are so that gives you like a fair amount of information about what each block is um, makes it easier in picking um, but let's say I just wanted to work with blocks that work with audio. Uh, I could click here and say, okay, so these blocks now have audio input. So they'll take audio as an input. Or I could say, okay, I want, I want a block that has audio output, then click there. Or um, So blocks of process video, so video input, video output. And then it allows you to uh, filter out which blocks. A lot of these data types aren't available in the demo but will be available in the, in the full software um, and you can also search um, so you, uh, this search is actually it just searches the whole title description groups everything so you, you, you get a, a, a good uh, result oh, that noise that's just uh, Nick scratching himself um, so you um, so uh, yeah, so um, that's that area there, and um, 
you can drag and drop from there basically if you want to select so this is kind of more if, if you're not really too sure about what exactly it is you want you can look through here and you can see uh, see all the information about all the blocks and what they do um, okay the next section is the uh, the GUI builder so on here um, I just unlocked it and what unlock does is it means that it shows all the uh, handles for all the different sections I'm just going to delete everything um, and in the GUI builder we've got uh, rows so the layout parts and what layouts do is it allows you to kind of build well the layout of your uh, of your software so you can have splitters and you can have uh, rows and spaces um, you'll have to play with these to find out but a row goes in one direction a, a column goes in another a splitter um, allows you to actually like uh, move it I'll, I'll just build something quickly so you can see we've got something here yeah, okay cool uh, so let's say I've got a row and then I want to just put in some controls from here I can go okay I want that that and you just literally drag from the top here into where you want it and then if you click lock that will uh, lock it and then you can pop that out and that will just give you what would be the little application that you've built there so then if I pop out again it goes back I want to unlock that I'm just going to put a preview in there lock it again pop it out so there we have our uh, little application that we just built that allows you to I don't know, show show the camera with the uh, certain controls. And that's kind of how LiveBlocks works: is that you've got the uh, you build your um, your system, your your back end as such in in this part here, and then you can build what the user would see the user interface in this part here. Um, so that's the GUI builder. Um, that's uh, yeah, pretty much all you need to know for that. You can use tab containers and stuff uh, as well if you wanted. So I'm just going to unlock and close everything here and just put a tab container in. And also, sometimes if you double click on the top of something like those, you have you maybe have a setting, and then that will change it. And you can also change the names of them so you can uh, you can build your own uh, your own name tabs and stuff. And then if we wanted to, then we could put in. Uh, a row in here and a row in here and we could build oh, it didn't go in a row in here and we could build our system or if I wanted to put a splitter in I could um, and then with that I can change the number of splits and set it wherever it which direction it goes in and then we'd be able to then put something in each here like that and then um, I don't know anything really so then we can uh, pop that out and uh, oh, it looks like the split, the split is there actually. But um, yeah, so that's the kind of idea with that, with the with the GUI builder. Um, and then this section here is settings. Um, you don't probably won't need to really really change anything. If you wanted to, do, I sometimes if you want to just like lower the load on the processor, you can change the the frame rate. So now that's lowered the frame rate down, so that it's only running a much lower frame rate and you can control that. You can also change the preview, preview frame rate so if you just want the previews to run slow so that it's more power in the actual system uh, then you can do that and you can set whether you want high quality previews or not. Um, so yeah it's just some controls. More will probably be added to this section later. Uh, that's for siphon so that's uh, for uh, the rate at which it will transfer between this and uh, other applications using siphon but that's not in the demo. Um, okay, so if you wanted to save your uh, save your um, pipeline, just click here. So, um, so we'll just call this one uh, demo pipeline. Click save, and that's done. And then, uh, if you want to load, you can select from here, and then you can just double click on one, and it will load it up. Um, so I've obviously got quite a few here. Um, um, okay, so some of these aren't going to work because it's a demo, not the full version. Um, so a block, the blocks aren't going to load. But um, yeah, you get the idea. You can just double click and just say, okay, I want, want to load that one up, I want to load this one up. 
so it just picks out certain uh, certain pipelines um, and then that's just our, our information so um, yeah that's um, a fair amount of it I don't think you really need to worry about what's in these menus so much most of that's disabled anyway um, where else have we got yeah so up here we've got new self-explanatory um, ah yeah I haven't shown about containers yet so you can build containers which are blocks and then you can double click on a container to go into it press escape to go back up um, or you can alternatively press that button there which will bring you up to the next level um, stop, pause, play, step forward all do um, what you'd expect them to do uh, this is refresh and that will just uh, it basically just uh, tells everything to stop and start again and uh, refreshes the, the GUI. Um, if, if it stalls at some point for any reason, then you, you can try pressing that and it might bring it back to life. Um, yeah, so I think that's a, that's a fair explanation of all the controls in Livebox. I, we've got the, um, so yeah, down here we've got the uh, logging, so if you, uh, you can see, um, see what's going on. So if I drop in a block, it will. Uh, probably log in there um, and yeah so that yeah as I say and I think that's a fair explanation of um, all the controls and live blocks and what everything does um, and uh, yeah so guys yeah if you can uh, you can please like our page and um, we've got our Indiegogo campaign at the moment that we'd love you to donate on um, and uh, yeah keep an eye on our website and subscribe thanks take care bye